Have you ever found yourself pondering over the abbreviations BC and AD that we often see in our calendar system? What do they really stand for, and why are they so significant? Let's unveil this mystery. BC, as many might know, stands for Before Christ. This term is used to label or number years in the Gregorian calendars. The BC era represents the years before the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Messiah. But wait, there's more to it. While BC is widely recognized, some prefer to use the term BCE, which stands for Before Common Era. This alternative is often used in academic and scientific communities, BCE, henceforth for this video will be referred to as Before Christ Entered. After all, BCE still counts backwards from the year before Christ was born. Moving on to AD, which is short for Anno Domini, a Latin phrase that translates to in the year of our Lord. Contrary to common belief, AD does not mean after death, referring to the period after Christ's death. Instead, it denotes the years following the birth of Christ. Essentially, the birth of Christ acts as the dividing line between BC and AD. Interestingly, there is no year zero in this system. The year preceding AD 1 is BC 1. This absence of a year zero often leads to some confusion when calculating years across this divide. Just like BC, AD has an alternative too, known as CE or Common Era. This term is again favored by many in academic and scientific communities. For the purposes of this video, we'll call it Christ Entered. So, why are these terms important? Well, they provide a standardized way of referencing time, allowing for consistent records and historical analysis. BC and AD were first introduced by a Christian monk in the 6th century. The current calendar system we use, the Gregorian calendar, was first introduced by the Catholic Church in 1582 AD. To summarize, BC stands for Before Christ, or alternatively BCE Before Christ Entered, marking the period before the birth of Jesus Christ. On the other hand, AD stands for Anno Domini, or In the Year of Our Lord, denoting the years following Christ's birth. The use of these terms provides a universal system for referencing years, facilitating historical record keeping and analysis. So the next time you come across these abbreviations, you'll not only know what they stand for, but also understand their significance in our calendar system. It's fascinating, isn't it? How these two little abbreviations, BC and AD, play such a crucial role in how we perceive and record time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps small channels like this one.